This is a video to show or tell how to install, remove and install a tachometer cable. I could not show you as I was doing it because this is an iPhone and you cannot do the job and hold the iPhone at the same time. But if this was the old cable, which is this is the new one, you would tie a rope around here, put it around your alternator, run it into the car. That way you can pull it out once you dispress the little spring-loaded uh, retainer on the back of the tachometer. But the way you will have to get this out, I thought I could... Um, by the way, this is a 1972 Corvette convertible with air conditioning, which makes it a pain to go under here. You cannot go under here because of this ducking, this ducking right here. You cannot go up through there. Plus there's a large plate up there. I took all this um, stuff off just to see if I could go up through here, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, you will have to remove these two uh, bolts for your steering column later on, but let me back up here. I say after I've done it, I say the first thing to do is remove this cover for your your windshield right here first because you're going to have to take off these pillars right here there's it's real easy you just take off a couple of screws will pop it right off it's got these velcro type this is the passenger b pillar i haven't put it on yet but you take those two off first pull this off i mean pull this off first then take the two side pillars off covers and then uh you'll have to take this side off it's real easy, probably about five or six screws takes it off because there's a screw right here holding that. So you have to take that off. Once you, and then you'll have to take two screws on the side, three screws on the top of your dash cover, and then there's one here, oh, let me find it. One there, one down there, you can see it. So, the whole trick to it is taking this dash off. You pull this dash off after that. Go in from the pull, you'll have to pull this and pull this, but I'm sorry, I'm not a very good video taker and explainer at the same time, but it's, I hope you can get, understand what I'm talking about. You just pull this piece this piece back just a little because only before you can do that though you're gonna have to like I said earlier lower those two bolts down on the bottom for your steering column but I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it is than it really was and it's not it's not something you can do in five minutes I mean I've been out here an hour or two trying to figure it out but I'm telling you so you can do it a lot faster and what you'll do is once you get that top dash off your hand can go right down in here behind the tachometer and push in the retainer there's videos on YouTube showing the little retainer that you push in it's a spring-loaded piece of metal that holds the cable in you push that in and at the same time you pull on the rope and it pulls the cable out once you get the cable out you fish the new one through come back inside the car reach your hand down in here again and line it up to the back of the tachometer go back out there and push on it real quickly and, and it, it uh, if it's lined up it will s slide right in and snap in tight and so then it's just a matter of putting it back together buddy and so uh you know it's it's not hard now just keep track of your screws and everything 
and uh, let me get going and put this baby back together and hope everything goes good with you guys there's not very many videos on YouTube showing this and because uh, I looked but there is a couple you know but so I wish I could have showed you how I did it but it's not hard at all if you own a Corvette you can do it all right buddy